Hello friends, I recently acquired a new beautiful ghost rush. And in order to celebrate this fact, I will be ghost rushing Zerks for the next hour. Um, <laughs> starting here against Rotap. Um, I, I always loved the idea of ghost rushing. And now I have a build that felt so good that I couldn't believe that this wasn't played at high level. I actually showed it to some other Terrans. I showed it to some high level Zerks. And they're like, man, this build is, is actually quite good. This doesn't look bad at all. Like it... That looks powerful. There's really, you know, they, I was talking with them and they're like, this looks good. So I, I spent some more time on it. I've been, you know, I've been pu putting in the screws. I've been uh, tweaking it. I've been tuning it. And I think I have a, we, yeah, we have a bit of a, a, a pearl here on our hands. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful build. It starts with a gas first, low ground, uh, low ground barracks. Now this allows me to not only get a fast reaper and a fast command center, but also a pretty quick factory behind all of them. So that's obviously what we're going to be doing. Fast factory. Now, this is the worst position to spawn in because the add-ons are going to be on the outside here, which is not what I want. I want the add-ons on the inside. Sadly, uh, that is not possible. Terrans do not quite have the technology yet. So we throw down pop this little factory over here. Gonna get... Let's just get a refinery and then follow it up with a depot as well over here. And then we get our reactor so we can start pumping Hellions the moment we want to. And it's really quite simple. So we're going to play Hellion, Ghost, get a couple of Cyclones in, um, and then an Armory so we get the Hellbats. And then we push like a madman and we simply just win the game. There's really no try to win the game. You just win the game. This build is insanely good. Actually insanely good. I cannot believe this is... Like w when I saw this build, and when I thought of it... You know, when I improved it, when I was... Oh, the perfect grenade. Hello. Can get some... And a round of applause for that perfect freaking grenade over there. Good lord. That was beautiful, wasn't it, lads? Um, so, here we go. And I was even thinking... Actually, I'm not going to mention what I was thinking yet. But I think I'm right. In that I could probably fit in a second factory even. But this is... I, I I don't wanna actually let's no I uh, let's just do it let's fit in the second factory okay let's fit in the second factory this is actually what I thought would be the the end goal of this build is the second factory is he scouting everything he's scouting everything not super happy with that didn't lose it beautiful to see beautiful to see indeed and this factory is just going to be producing individual units. It's, I'm not going to build a reactor on it. I don't think I quite have the, the, the money the money for that. Um, I wish I did, but I simply just don't think I do. As our first ghost is about to hit the map. This is just such a beautiful build. It is such a beautiful build. I just can't get enough of it. He didn't take a third base for whatever reason. Um, that does frustrate me a little bit. We're going to get our next ghost as well. I need another depot. Then we're just going to start our first cyclone. Which is the unit that we want out of that factory. I wonder if this actually completely works. I need to cut a couple of workers in order for this to hit as hard as I want it to. But it seems to be kind of doing its job. If I could have hidden this, which I obviously could have, but I didn't. Um, it would have been even stronger. But it's still going to be real freaking powerful. I think this this uh, factory might just be a little bit too quick though. I'm afraid the factory is a bit too quick because I can't afford another ghost right now. But... It might be okay either way. Just gonna get another ghost. Just gonna get another ghost at some point. There we go, buddy. I said, there we go, buddy. Yeah, another ghost. Another ghost. Oh, -ho -ho, that's one. This is, this really is the power. Oh, you probably gotta join up here. This is the power of the ghost. Is that queens aren't strong. Well, they're, I mean, they're strong. But they're not as strong as you think they'd be. Like, what is he doing here? You think he's going into... Into, into roaches right now, or... He probably has to go into roaches, no? Probably has to go into roaches. Probably has to. Absolutely has to. Yeah, I don't think he can get that. Look, he even skipped... Uh... That's pretty crazy, isn't it? He freaking skipped link speed, which is greedy as hell. That really is greedy as hell. I can't believe he got away with that. Should we scan here? Yeah. Yeah, no creep for you, my dear friend. We can just find him. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, this is so sick. I just, I'm just, I'm just making it up as we go. 
This is so good. I meant Overlord Speed. Why did I get Overlord Speed? It doesn't even do anything. It tried rushing roaches. He rushed two base roach and he died against the two base all in. This is Terran. This is Terran. I just don't see how Zerk is supposed to win. If they ro go Roach, I can snipe and build Cyclone. I can fight off Creep. If they build Lynx, I have so many Hellions. I, I, I was thinking about this and I just couldn't. Like, the thing is, is that usually you defend this type of stuff with Queens. But here, the Queens, they don't work because I can snipe them. Like you walk, a Ghost can kill two Queens because he has two snipes by the time he arrives on the other side. So if I have two Ghosts, four Queens are gone. That's crazy. That's like, boom. 600 minerals out of this world. In the early game, that's insane. Especially because the ghost also has good auto, like like damage output, and it can tank a lot. So you tank with the ghost and cyclones, and you shoot the aliens. This guy was 5-4. Now we're 5 6 40. We're just gonna keep winning. That's game one. Right, here we are with our second game against a 5.5k Zerg. Cast before barracks, as always. This time, I'm not gonna add a. Um, a quick second factory. Instead, I'm just going to add a quicker armory, I think. So I can turn my Hellions into Hellbats a bit faster. And what I can kind of do is I, I use the Hellbat Ghost setup as like a launching pad from where I use my Snipes, basically. So I can always move the... Like, Lynx can never fight well against Hellbat. Only Queens can initially, and then Roaches and Banes. But both Roaches and Banes I can Snipe with Ghost. And I'm also okay with Cyclones against that. And against Queens, I also have Ghost. So as long as I, my Ghosts are safe from the Lynx, I think I am safe. Either way, Reaper's gonna come out right now. We start our Orbital Command as well. Because I feel like last game, although I really liked the second uh, Factory, the thing that I didn't like was that I felt like I was missing a lot of production because I just didn't have the money. I had to cut a lot of workers as well. Feels like that shouldn't really be necessary. This factory is going to be late, by the way. Uh, it's not the biggest of deals, because you need to wait for the reactor anyway, but I'd rather have it too early than too late. That's what I always say. I'd rather be too early than too late. And that's the case here as well, of course. All right, just going to start our reactor, and then probably have to start a depot as well at some point in the near future. Probably be the correct call. So we don't get massively supply blocked. We're quite heavily investing in gas. I'm not sure how necessary that is. I, I think maybe we can just kind of have like some 2-2 gas mining going on here. So that's actually what I'm going to be doing for a bit. See if that will work out for me. Oh, he's going very hard with the, the Ling, huh? He really wants to get that Reaper. I mean, that's literally impossible. I get two kills instead. So a fairly decent start. So for the people that are now thinking, Oh, actually, the main base isn't well saturated. Are you stupid? Like, yes, I'm stupid, but it's also on purpose. I, I don't want my main base fully saturated right now. This is exactly what I signed up to do. I forgot my Ghost Academy. That's really dumb. Ghost Academy takes way longer to build than... Um, the Ghost Academy takes way longer to build than the Tech Lab does. So now there's going to be some downtime here on my uh, on my barracks, which is actually quite stupid. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not super happy with how I did that. I guess there's always some downtime because I just don't have enough money. I think I should pull out of gas a bit faster or just mine a little bit less gas just initially as a as a plan. I, it feels like it's not very smart for me to do. Oh, I really wanted that kill. I think I got the kill, actually. Gotta make sure that we don't get too close. Get another one of these as well. And one more of these. Yeah, I, you see, I'm mining just way too much gas. This isn't matching up at all. I'm just mining too much gas. All right. I'm going to fix that in the next game by either taking my second gas just a little bit later or just mining 2-2, two -two, which also, honestly, seems completely fine to me. But then now I don't have enough gas. Now I want more gas because I have to build these cyclones at some point as well, of course. It's such a delicate balance here that, that we have to walk. I'm not a fan. I also keep building the Ghost Academy in the easiest spot for it to get scouted in, which is hilarious to me. Um... Ah, 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 ah. Very funny indeed. Is this a good move? I don't really have gas right now. It's so hard to find a good balance. If I want to get an armory, then life honestly seems quite difficult. Okay, that was a good start. Oh, this guy's also gonna die. That's two queens here that went down instantly. This really is the power of the ghost. Like, just... Oh, he's coming for a... Uh, 
He's coming here for a blast, isn't he? He's coming here for a little blast. Oh, like these ghosts are be being stuck behind right now. Not entirely what I want. I just build a, uh, a third CC. Is he actually gonna, he's actually gonna commit here, which should technically be a mistake. But as a result, he's gonna get the tech lab. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with three ghosts then. Three ghosts and a bunch of these. I think that should be fine, actually. We have at least four, from what I can see. At least four, from what I can see. Four snipes available. One, two... Yeah, soon to be five. Maybe even six. I'm gonna morph these into Hellbats. This is at 5.30. It's not the hardest hitting thing that I've ever seen in my life, but it hopefully will do the trick here. Ooh. The, the thing is just the damage that the Cyclones and the Ghost push out is really serious damage. It's really serious damage. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough for now, though. He built a lot. Oh, well, this this, this, this uh, Cyclone has just completely stopped fighting. Uh, I bet that didn't really help. I uh, don't like that. I don't want to lose any more Ghosts. I lose another Ghost. That's just great sub, isn't it? We have a third base, and... That's nice for me, I guess. This also didn't quite go as great as I wanted. Yeah, I'm not happy with the amount of gas that I mined this game. It felt like I could have done this better. Also felt like that push could have been executed a bit better. Can I still move out here? Yeah, I think I can. I'm just gonna continue with the ghost. We have way too much non-gas units right now, so we're just gonna double expand? No, that makes no sense. I just want more gases. Hmm. This went very poor. This went very poor. This is the first time that it went poorly. Not super happy with this. It's a bad map for it as well, of course. I have to attack up this tiny little ram. Also wonder if the help... I mean, the helmets they do do something. Oh, well. Okay, I'm super bad. Not that one. The, the problem with the helmets is simply that... Once they go in Hellbat mode, let's take a quick look at it. This guy really did it on me. Um, once they go in Hellbat mode, oh, he defended well. Once they go in Hellbat mode, is that I can't run away with them anymore. It's really strong against Lynx. Like here, if I would have just attacked before the roaches are out, I think the game is just over. Like he has, look at what he has. This guy has freaking four queens and nine Lynx against six Hellions, two Cyclones, and two Ghosts. If I just attack him right now, Instead of trying to chase some links like an idiot. If I just actually attack him, he's just dead. He just he just falls over. I should just continuously be on the front and maybe use two Hellions to deny any run buys. Because it makes no sense to send everything back to deal with that. And then I hit kind of late. I think the armory doesn't help me at all. It's, it puts me in this mindset that this is not a, an always any... This guy is a prick. He was, he was 5.5k. He's playing unranked. Ah, I lose so much MMR to him. No, it's what it is. Let's hop on to our next one. Alrighty, here comes our third game against Iraz, I think he's called. Uh, we're still learning. It sucks whenever... I really thought I had a good build already, but I, I feel like I need to, you know... It still needs to be tweaked a little bit, at least. I'm gonna build the, the barracks quite far forward. This is on purpose. Um, I, built the, I built it quite far forward just for the simple reason that... I can then fully wall with a factory right next to it. I think it's actually possible on most maps where with a three buildings you can make a pretty freaking perfect wall already. So that's actually good for these types of builds. It makes me very happy. Otherwise you can always add a second depot in the wall, of course, not the end of the world. And that's the beauty of Terran. You can do whatever you want, get away with it as well. Even when there are meddling kits. Um, just gonna send this bad boy for uh, to build an orbital command here as well. I'm just thinking what I should be... I think I want to be way more aggressive with my first units. Like, the moment my first ghost is out. But the thing is that I need to figure out whether he's building links to defend or if they're building uh, roaches to defend. Because if it's links, then I think I gotta be kind of careful with my initial Hellions as well. But if it's roaches, then I want to be as aggressive as possible because I actually want to force out links. There's this pretty delicate balance here between what is too aggressive and what isn't aggressive enough. 
and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find the right spot somewhere in there. Um, so far, I haven't been quite capable of doing that. I think. I'm just gonna get this thing exactly how I said I would. So a relatively quick refinery, and then we just pull one worker out of this gas and send it in that refinery. So we have four workers working the gas, um, and I think that should actually be, hopefully, enough. Also, shouldn't forget to start my. Uh, my ghost academy when I can. I forgot that last game, of course. Oh wait, I still pulled too many in guys out. Whatever it is, what it is. Is it what it is though? No, I can just pull them out again. Oh, it's gonna pull back here. Almost died, but not quite. That's the most important thing in life. When you're on the way of dying, is that you can always just stay alive by running away very fast. Um, get two of these. I want one of these. And then I need an orbital command. Let's see if this guy is building a third base. I feel like this build would be absolutely disgusting against two base, uh, two base Zerg as well. Like, what does a two base Zerg do against this? You can't kill this with a road rush, I don't think, because I have snipers. Muras would suck because I have snipers. It just, it, I guess, ooh, is this completely stuck? No, it's not. I, for a second, I thought that we were completely stuck. That would have really sucked. Okay, we're set up. I've managed to fully saturate my gas again, despite saying I didn't want to do that. How expensive is a nuke? Something we definitely could look into, that's for sure. That is definitely something uh, we could look into. It's just trying to nuke a little bit, I guess. Huh? I hadn't even thought of that. Okay, so we now have four cars. Not all of these. Like this is look at this. This would be the perfect nuke timing, wouldn't it be? Nah, it's too early. Maybe. Okay, here we go. You see, he he's building quite a few links. That's a, a, oh, that's a bunker. <laughs> it's not entirely what I wanted. Uh, one of these. It's, it's actually a, a delicate balance here we're walking. I don't want to be too aggressive. I don't want to be too defensive. He's building a lot of links right now. I'm, I'm just going to build a single... Oh, so look at this. This guy just dies. I guess I didn't really need this knife. I think he's going to go for like some massive surround here right now. That's, that's what I would do if I were him. You probably need, you need to run by with links to try and catch me from behind. Otherwise, there's literally no point. Let's just get a nuke. That's just getting you. Like we have the money anyway. Might as well try to use it. Classic nuke. It's time for a nuke. I'm supply block. That's not good. See if I can get this thing up. I definitely can. I think now I just win the game, no? Would it? This hits. This is faster than I did last time, by the way, which is funny. Last time it felt like I was hitting quite fast, but I really wasn't, I guess. Oh, GG. Well, no GG, but. Wait, anyway. This build is good, man. This build is good. I think the Hellbats are bait. You just gotta continuously trade. Maybe even the Cyclones are bait. Just get like one Cyclone, I think that's good. I can clear some Overlords with that, do some other good stuff with it. Not too much more. All right, guys, completely locked in here. Once again, it's the same player earlier. It's the unranked Zerg. Lately, I've had this suspicion. Uh, it, it might just be me. You know, being an idiot. But lately, very often, I play the same players on the same maps. So I'll play versus Clem on Solaris two times. And I play against you know, some other dude on the same map like three times. You know, And here, once again, we have this Zerg that we played on Gold on Aura earlier. Now I'm once again playing this Zerg on this map. I know it's just a coincidence. I don't think Blizzard is sitting there thinking to themselves, you know what, Harston really dislikes playing golden ara right now because he's trying to ghost all in let's see how he could make his life even worse this is also a much better position for me by the way because my uh yeah my tech lab and reactor and stuff is all going to be on the inside this is still really crazy how big of a an actual impact this type of stuff often has on the game people don't realize but well people do realize i'm not sure why i said people don't realize people realize i wonder if we want tech labs to be available on both sides where you just kind of pick it I and mean, you can pick a safe side where you want it i feel like that would be a crazy quality of life change it would make the game more consistent i guess i'm not sure if that's something that we always want 
Maybe some of this luck is fun as well. Maybe some of it is very fun. It's a good time. All right. I freaking love this build. I really do. And I want to really beat this guy with this up because he frustrated me the last time I played against him. He really did. That's not allowed. That should not be allowed. I cannot believe... I. I really wonder if we're gonna see some of this in uh, professional play. Because I've, 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 I've been sharing it with a lot of Terrans. Um, they've been talking about it. The Zergs have been talking about it. It seems like such a good build. It really does. It wouldn't surprise me if we're gonna see it a little bit in professional play. Just a, a couple of times. Maybe not every time. But definitely not every time. But actually I'll tell Clem about this build. Clem is someone that will not try it. And then tell me that he didn't like it. Pretends that he tried it. He just lies to me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Because he knows the, the build's not for him. Although whenever I give him build advice, he usually wins. And then he pretends like he played some games where I didn't watch, where he didn't win. Never any examples of it. He just likes, he doesn't like the thought of a Protoss player giving him good advice. I think that's it. They're too, they're too proud, these uh, Terran players, you know? Way too proud. Okay, let's build this thing over here. Around the world, around the world. Okay, I'm gonna start our car production now. God, I love cars. You got a fast guy. And soon we can start the rest as well. Ooh, that's cute. Maybe I should get Cloak. Rather than Armory, I should get Cloak on the Ghost. Dude, he's never gonna expect that. There's absolutely no way that my opponent expects Cloaked Ghost. No armory. Oh, that actually sounds very smart, Kevin. I love the thought of that. Oh. It's really difficult to produce from uh, two buildings like this, because I constantly have to tap. I don't like it. God. Is it already time for a depot, or do I... No, I've built some more Hellions. I think the most important thing is constant Hellion production, and the rest follows. Oh, and as I say that, I forgot one Hellion. Nice. There you go with your constant Hellion production, Kevin. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so we're dealing quite a bit of damage on this queen. That way we can uh, just one one tap it with snipe, which is actually important, of course. Uh, maybe I want the cyclone now. Yeah, I do want the cyclone now, because hellions are really good against links. But you know, uh, the problem with the hellion is is that it doesn't tank quite as much. So I also need units that can tank a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna start mining a little bit more gas here. I wish I had enough range for that. I said I wish I had enough range for that. Oh my god, I keep... I keep he keeps moving out of range. I still have one more available. Ah, that was frustrating. Those were a frustrating couple of seconds. Okay. Look how aggressive we're being as well. This really does feel good. Die. That was good as well. Uh, I'm gonna lose some units now. Hello. He built a lot of links here now. So then I lose my ghost, which sucks. But at the same time... No, actually that just sucks. I already killed two queens. It's not the end of the world. Why, why are my cyclones not properly attacking like I want them to? Maybe I should really pull some SCVs with this. Okay. So we cleared the, the crap over here. I'll lose a ghost. I feel like that's all okay. For the amount that I'm killing, this feels just... It honestly feels fine. It really does feel fine. I hope. Because he's built a lot of links here. He hasn't built any ghost yet. Which is triggering me. Or is it any ghost? He has no, not built any uh, roaches yet. Which is actually is triggering me. Can I kill that? I guess I'm just going to let it be for now. Beautiful stuff. I feel like I haven't committed hard enough. It's so hard on this map though, because it has a ramp leading up to here. It's really frustrating. There's a lot of queens. He has like no drones. 
No, am I crazy? To be fair, I also don't have that many units, though. I have, like, no units. <laughs> I did legit nothing. I'm not even gonna build any extra things. Like, no add-ons or anything. I'm not feeling it. We're just gonna straight up send stuff. Just straight up send stuff. Okay, this guy's gonna die. Do we have an armory? Okay, no, it's on the way, though. Okay, and after this, we're gonna build some crap. Oh, that's a good one. That was a really nice surround, actually. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got surrounded, like, legitimately in the ultimate surround way. Oh, my God. I'm so sad by this. You see, like, I got five workers total. I think I had this game. I actually think I had this game. That's so frustrating. It's not even over yet, maybe. Is this guy stuck? Oh, yeah, it's kind of stuck. He's probably gonna go for like a super bailing bust or something. That's what I'm feeling right now. Wish I had some factories that, that could turn into tech labs, you know? I feel like that would be really powerful. You build some tanks. A couple of tanks here would be great. I can't believe he got that surround. I'm. I feel like this guy doesn't actually play proper starcraft i'm playing proper starcraft he's just he's just uh, he had I, I knew he had no workers as well which makes this so much worse for me to do in the way that i did it i really really dislike it okay we're now gonna just start nuking him um that seems like a uh, a fair thing to do in my mind if he ruins my life i get to ruin his i the problem is is that i really would have liked some um I would have liked to have blue flame on the way already or like a tank or two just for safety's sake i like the thought of being safe i don't really like playing safe but i like the thought of playing safe i'm just gonna build this put this in a different control group uh, he has so many workers now though this is really sick about about zerg players that are good is that the moment you leave them alone for like two seconds it feels like they just have like five thousand what's he doing Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> he quickly transfused it as well. Like, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second, sir. Um, is it Muta? No. Okay, so he's just going into into a late game. I'm also going into a late game. Just gonna get some nukes out. The problem that I have here, though... Oh, first of all, I need an eBay. Is this fully walled now? Seems to be the case. That's good. So both of us up to four bases. Actually, I do have four base already. I thought I was just saying it, but I actually do have a fourth base. When, when are these upgrades finishing? I never started them. It's a good thing to, to notice right now. Should I just build this into a pl Yeah, planetary. We should definitely do planetary. I was thinking to myself, what if we do an orbital here? But I think that actually would be a pretty big mistake. I want more ghost as well. Oh my god. Ooh, that was a good miss. Oh, you actually had stuff there? I'm just gonna chill over here. This thing. Um, ooh, nuclear missile already? Is that really what it said already? Nice. You also have a fifth base? I, I keep having bases where I don't remember building bases, which is really freaking cool. Look at this crap. Okay, here we go. Now he's going to start looking at different bases, hopefully. And at the same time, we're just pushing out hardcore. Okay, we found it. And then we go back. We, we don't actually want to be out on the map, after all. This is just a, a fake move. Absolute fake move. Fake news, fake move. That's how we do it over here. I don't think he's seeing me. Maybe I have time to throw down another nuke now. That would be absolutely epic. 
¿no? Uh oh, this is not as epic. Snipe should be good though. Snipes are really good. Holy crap! Just the fact that that these types of transitions don't really work so well. That is such a huge deal for me. Should I get some extra upgrades, maybe? Some extra barracks. <laughs> this guy also is just... He's just visible. I'm just visible here for him. That's so funny. I love that type of stuff. Oh, actually, this guy can't, though. Um, you guys are gonna go here. So, I could just split off small portions of my army as well, which I think is really cool. Oh, he's gonna come with an ultra. Doesn't do anything to me. 50 kills? What did I kill? I really wonder. Oh, let's see if I can. Okay, these guys are still going ham. Oh, nice one. Actually, nice one, I'm not gonna lie. And I lost everything, uh, meanwhile, behind this as well. Which is less nice for me. Okay, we have a new nuclear missile ready. Dude, I have so many ghosts though, huh? Let me continue my upgrades as well. I feel like that's actually gonna be somewhat necessary. I have so many workers. I have like a hundred. I legit have a hundred workers. That's messed up. That's actually messed up. Let's see, can we send another ghost across the map? I mean, we definitely can send another ghost across the map. I need more factories, I think. Three more. It's just such a nice number. Three more factories. I have way too many workers. What is these paints? Yeah. You have way too many ghosts. Why are they? Is these guys just run into their own, into their own death? Come on, kill everything. This was a really good trade for me, I think, overall. Do I have any workers left over? No, I don't really. We could just build a couple more, though. It's good because we had too many workers. Now we have too little. Yeah, you know, it it, uh, it goes back and forth. It really does go back and forth. What happened with my ghost? That was... Oh, he got 22 kills. 25. I had no clue that happened. That's beautiful. That's why you should always queue stuff up. When you're about to move out. You say, hey, go out. Go out there, have a good time, man. You're young only once. That's what they say. Um, this base is fairly vulnerable, by the way. Like, really freaking vulnerable. I'm just going to build some extra CCs down here. This thing I'm going to lift. I'm going to put in this choke. What the hell is that? Oh, it doesn't look great for me. Just gonna move these units in to see if I can do something there. Oh, he's actually coming for me. You better watch it. You better not try. Leave this base. He's trying to take it at least. Ooh, that's cute. Do have some of these? So this this looks good for me. He did manage to uh, break through this angle, which is less good for me. Then again, I am breaking through this angle, which is once again good for me indeed. I feel like what we need right now is much more than we actually have. Like we, we're, I think we're too thinly spread to be honest. Like, every single time he... What's that? Oh, there's like a single ling with five kills. I feel like my nuke should have been doing more damage. Just gonna fool all this area once more. Um, let's see if we can do anything here. I think we can, probably. We definitely can. I still have these as well. Just gonna get more tanks. You know what the, the real problem is for me? Please don't see me. 
I don't think he saw me. Nice. He said I don't really have enough stuff. Like my supply is way too low. Okay. This uh this thing might be capable of uh of keeping him busy for at least a little bit. Yeah, come on. Go on there, buddy. I don't give a crap. 35 kills. That's really not bad at all. The nukes have been pretty crazy. The the problem is is that the rest has not been pretty crazy. It's been actually pretty non-crazy. Um, I want to send a ghost towards the bottom side and go hit that gold at some point. Does he have this base? I was trying to get it at least. Uh, this is far from perfect. This is far from perfect, my dear friends. Can these guys move past? Yes, they can. That's important. I'm just going to set up a bunch of tanks here. I probably want some tanks here on the bottom too. Oh, look at that. This went well. This went really freaking well, no? Is this even in range? No, it's not. Okay, and now we go like this. Eh. Cheeky, cheeky little ghost, man. Are these all fake? Yeah, they are. I can't even click this because it's like hiding behind some crap. This is a good fight, honest to god. I feel like he's gonna go into uh, into things where I require anti-air for right now. Oh, gonna get a new one. Just gonna scan this, just for banter. So he thinks it's this base that I'm going for. Well, in reality, I'm going for the bottom one, and I'm gonna get it. Nice. He's gonna hold position down there. Gonna send a couple of uh, Hellions up top. Okay, we're actually maxed out. Should we just go for a push out now? I think we should. Also get some more Ghost Academies. Oh, not quite ideal. This was good though. This was actually a good fight. Every time I say not quite ideal, it actually ends up being a pretty freaking ideal fight, which is hilarious to me. You can, like, the, the tank backup that I have is so crazy here. Like, it really is. Oh, that is less crazy. I'm gonna lift these. I'm gonna lift these. Probably on another one sensor tower over here. Oh. <laughs> he just keeps refreshing them for me. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's like, I actually love that. I love that for me. I really do. What's that? Ah, some doors are being caught. Oh, where's my tanks though? I thought my tanks would be nearby to help out. What the hell? Did I hit? Oh, <laughs> I hit again. No way. <laughs> Dude, I never miss. It's really crazy how good it is. Right, here comes some stuff. Yeah, you die. Oh, I did lose that CC though. That sucks. Um, see if we can hit another base this time. Oh. Oh, he did see me. That's sad. Okay, well... I think we have one fight in us still. And this fight needs to come pretty soon, I would say. But he's actually gonna try and go here or what? That would be that would be pretty crazy. Okay, here we go. This one is gonna go here. So we're gonna go around. And then hit it. Now these... One's going to go over here and then get it as well. And then we're just going to start pushing forward. Should we just move out with all the tanks? I think we should. Because there's no way he's going to, you know, he's going to get me here.
Like they have so many freaking tanks now. This might work. Oh, he caught me. Actually, he did call, catch me. I wonder if he has any uh, any invisible units under the ground. You know what I mean? This is a bad fight for him. It's a bad start of a fight for him. Okay, gonna get a couple of liberators up here. He does have. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Does have some uh, investor still around, huh? He did. Oh, probably should try and lift this. Okay, these need to move forward. These need to start moving in as well. I wonder if he's gonna go back with everything now. Oh, nice. Yep, gonna come back with everything. Ooh, not quite brilliant for me, although maybe good enough. I can start repairing stuff as well. need to siege stuff up, I think. That should be fine. Oh, he's just gonna continue picking up reinforcements here. That's frustrating. I wonder if he's getting air units now or not. Come on, I need some... Uh, I need some stuff here. I killed that. That's real nice. Oh, I didn't kill that. Oh, units over here. These are gonna die. Don't want to get killed completely. I did kind of get killed completely just now. Oh, he has so many. He has so many of these dudes. Uh, I think I'm dead. Oh, he comes with a flank as well. Uh, maybe? Maybe. Can I still have some ghosts that can start EMPing? I have one over here. Or EMPing. Sure. Whatever you want to call it, I guess. <laughs> EMPing. Um, what do I need to kill here? I don't even know. Please, please, please. Prepare. Thank you, good sir. So we actually have a good setup. I, I think he can't break me. He's trying to. He's really trying. I have no, no income. Legit zero. He must have quite decent income still, no? See if we can stop that. Oh, there come more units. He has never ending ultra list uh, send in. Uh. Oh my god, it was 79 supply. Oh, this end game was so close. I wonder what the resource lost was, because I lost way more than he did. <laughs> I mean, he lost way more than I did, yeah. 70k, but he had the two outside bases. I wonder how many workers I killed. 164. Yeah, the nukes put in some work, but he also put in some serious work. Holy cow. Nah, that wasn't bad. Good game, but a loss. We'll have to accept it for now. Ooh, I think that might have been a self-report here with the good luck, have fun, GG. There's very little people that do that. That really has been my my trademark good luck for a while now. We're fighting against Eric, who some of you might know for having invented the... <laughs> The Eric build is not very creative with the names, but it's a good build. It's um, what a lot of Zergs nowadays use as their standard opener, which is a 15 hatch, 15 over pool build. So hatchery before Overlord and an Overlord extractor trick into a pool. This is, uh, is something that's often used in ZVP, sometimes used in Zerg versus Terran. And Eric is the one that uh, yeah that popularized, popularized that and invented it. So uh, it's going to be cool to see how well he'll do against my Ghost Rush. I think he's a bit, by the way. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't like the gossip behind people's backs. But Eric is a bit of a two-baser. He's a little bit of a roach rusher, I believe. And you know how disgusting I find people that cheese all the time. Look, if you're going to play StarCraft and you're logging on and all you're doing is just two-basing and roach rushing people, you know you're just ruining other people's days. With that. You know, they want to play about a couple of games a day and... Here you are cheesing rather than playing an honorable macro game. What's wrong with you? You should really take a hard look at yourself in the mirror if that is what you're here for. All right. We're here to play some macro games with a couple of ghosts, some hellions, hellbats, of a solid two base economy. That's what we're here for. Okay. That's what's important. Eric, he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want a solid two base economy. 
He's happy with a one base economy. These types of people make me puke. Ugh, one basers. Disgusting. Never do something like that. Um, this Reaper's gonna go across the map. And you know what? This, ooh, or I could go to the top side. I could pretend to go across the map. Because he's gonna run by with some links. This is this is this is this is classic Eric. I'm not sure if that's classic Eric, but classic Eric, guys. Oh, Eric, here he comes. I can see him coming already with the links, you know? <laughs> well, does he think I was born yesterday? He probably does think that. Yeah, look at this. I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna move back, because I don't want this reactor to be killed. I don't want this reactor to be killed. Oh, he saw me. They see me rolling. They hate it. Patrolling and try to catch me right and dirty. Try to catch me right and dirty. Try to catch me riding. Okay. A lot of gas, at least a little bit. Exactly like I said I should. So here's the queen. Can't save that queen in particular. Just that queen though. Let's see if there's a third base here. Wherever we're playing against a disgusting... Oh my god, this hurt my soul. Freaking two basers, man. He's getting no respect for the law. See what it's like with the gas. I didn't click it. <laughs> it was too fast. It was too fast for me. Ooh, that's kind of a weird move. And a bad move as well. I appreciate it though. There's one thing I appreciate in StarCraft 2 it's weird and bad moves. And this was both in one. Which is cool to see. No speed. I guess he didn't realize it was gas first, so missed the timing completely. <laughs> that's not very good at all. That's actually quite bad. <laughs> Gonna get another SUV downstairs. Should we maybe just... This is, this is a high tier play, okay? I'm just gonna stand there because I know he's gonna run by more links. This guy's a run by machine. Surely. Okay, maybe not. Maybe just made it up. I guess I did just make it up. Dude, this map is so easy to do what you want, though. You see that? Is he really trying to surround me? Surely you can't actually do that, right? Nice. Nice. <laughs> I killed two queens already, look at this. <laughs> you actually can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Dude, this is so good! What the hell is this? Wait, where's my ghost? Oh, they were stuck behind there. Is he still on two base? No, not anymore, right? It is. It is. Links on the map, links on the map, links on the map, links on the map. Not anymore! Lol! Okay, on another ghost. I feel like sometimes I just forget to produce stuff. Just building a third base. I don't even want a third base. But I can just afford it because I'm not macroing. Okay, now he thinks he needs to defend this base. I mean, he has to defend this base as well. Like, he's not wrong about it. Two Ravagers being taken out. I wonder if I'm actually winning. I really want to kill this thing, though. Like, no matter what you say, I want to, want to kill this thing, make it go away. Oh. Just gonna cut him off here. Just gonna cut him off ever so slightly. Yeah, get some neato kills. Some absolutely neato kills. And I'm gonna build a reactor on this. Ooh, it's kind of kind of juicy, if you ask me. Also, I can just afford a freaking CC. I didn't want to have to play macro games, but I guess against the higher level players, you're kind of forced into macro. I mean, you don't straight up kill them, huh? I hate to see it. Oh, a nice flank. Oh, what? He had like 10 roaches across the map. I think I just lost the game, no? What was his eco behind this? 
40 workers? 44. So he was all inning me. If I just sit at home and do nothing, I win the game. But I was out on the map. And I wasn't sitting at home and doing nothing. Yeah. The gear 49 workers to 30. 38. I'm literally just owning. I probably should scan this at some point. This ghost rush is so sick. I feel like every position I either was ahead or I should have been ahead. Like did I think this ghost rush has some serious potential. I can't wait to see a top player play this. Once that happens, I'm gonna be very happy. Alright, up next we have a Rotap, a well, sir, obviously. Because we're ghost rushing Zergs here today. What else do you think it's gonna be? Um I think I'm gonna go for a Hellbat all in. Or Hellbat all in and slight pressure with the Hellbats and Ghost. And uh, a couple of Cyclones as well. I think that's what I'm gonna do here. And one thing that I feel like I have been underutilizing is just kind of relaxing with Hellbats, just kind of standing at a distance, taking it slow. Um, I feel like I've been I've been rushing in too fast whenever I go for Hellbats. So we're gonna try our best to, to be kind of patient and really use the Hellbats as a launching pad from which we can do great things, like snipe queens from a distance. That's an honorable business indeed. Ooh, look at that. Kevin. Very proud of myself for that, actually. That looks good. So I can build a reactor here, factory here, depot next to it, and then it's safe. It's just safe. Safe like that. Not in the wall. So even if it's like a, some weird pool first stuff, which, which is possible. I don't actually know how Rotap plays this matchup, but it's possible he plays it by playing pool first, building six links and trying to snipe depots and or what you call it, reactors and that type of stuff while they're building, um, then this is going to be a, a godsend. It really is. Okay. Give it to me. Yeah. So this is going to build a CC. You know, Reaper straight across the map. This is probably the best map for what I'm doing, by the way, simply because I can kind of control the pace of the game. So there's only two viable paths. You have this path and you have this path. And... Yeah, I just need to make sure that I know where you know what's happening on these paths, and I should be good. I should be good. Send the factory downstairs, or send the worker downstairs. It's gonna build the factory. We're sending a factory down there. That would be messed up. And then I'm gonna start a uh, a refinery as quick as I can, and that would be right about now. Another one goes down here. Bam, bam, bam. Another SEV goes down. Bam. Um, one more SUV built. And then I think I actually pull one worker out of gas. I feel like I've been saying this for a while now, that that's what I should be doing, and then I never do it. Which is a bad look. You know, you know one of these people, untrustworthy folk. That's what I am right now. So let's do it properly. has a queen out. I hate that. This is not a good look either, is it? And now we're just gonna rally in. Now we're just gonna rally in. Into the gas. This guy can go... Actually, can just go piss off already. And now we're good to go. So we had the optimal amount of mineral mining while also having a very solid amount of uh, of gas mining. Look at that. Look at that. This a this actually was the perfect build. I was right all along. My, my gut feeling told me that this was correct, and it ends up being correct. Ah, this is why I should make more decisions with my gut feeling, rather than doing research. Just use the gut more, ladies and gentlemen. That's really what we're missing nowadays in this discourse. Some good gut feeling decisions. That's what I'm here for, after all. He can deal some damage on those. I don't think I actually care about dealing damage on those. Let's see if we can just control the pace of this map. Yeah, control the pace of this game here on this map. I think we can. The question is, does my opponent think I can? Not sure what that means, but yes. I like it. I like it a lot even. Okay. Two of these dudes coming in. And now I'm just gonna straight up poof, build one of these. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna have enough gas to start my next ghost instantly. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough gas to start my next ghost. Which sucks, because I wish I had that. Poof! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Sorry. 
That was rude and uncalled for. Get out of my game! Okay, look at this. Oof. This is it's like taking candy from a baby. Now you might be wondering how I know what that's like. That's gonna be a story for another day. Oh. Okay, and now... I said, and now... I said, and now... Helbets! Right? Helbets! That's what we do here. This is how we do it! This is how we do it! See, just as a launching pad. So this is not really all in. Um, because I have a third base behind it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I should make this type of joke. This is, I mean, it's not actually that all in, though. I, I wasn't even lying that much. It's all in, but it's, you know, it's, 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 it's really just, I want to use it as a launching pad more than anything else. Just realize I don't actually have very much at home. So he, he's dead right now. Now he's in the, in the part where he's starting to realize that, I think. He's building spines? Look at this. Look at this snipes I'm about to make. Oof, oof. So an idiot would attack into the spine. So you'd expect me to do it too. But I've learned from all my mistakes. So I go straight to the main base. Does he have a road run or something? Just more uh, of the other dudes. Oh, he has a road run. What does that mean? What does it mean to have a road run in these trying times, my friends? something I can't quite give an answer to. Snap a drone. Puff. Yeah, that was actually stupid. But sometimes you gotta do stupid things to make the opponent realize that he's dead. You know what I mean? It is. High ground. From the freaking balcony here with the ghost, man. Oh, I just have a bunch of units here as well. Not quite what I recall. Yeah, whatever. I feel very good about how all of this went. I actually feel very good about how all of this went. I give this entire play five stars. And he gives it zero, because he forgot the GG. Nice! I think that's it, no? The final game. Practically the hour. The hour has been reached. Or almost has been reached. Thanks so much all for watching. This hour-long episode of Ghost Rushing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot about taking your time. Sniping queens. And um, making sure that the British Secret Service will be following you for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye.